Hey guys and girls, I'm Ask Japanese. This is your flashy fashion reporter, Kappa Cat. And today, we're gonna talk about 50 more things that will surprise you when you come to Japan. Let's go! Number one, you see this in anime and manga, you thought it's just fictional, but it's real. Stealing panties is a real crime here in Japan. And it happens actually quite frequently. Why? And still, you will find some items of female underwear on the street. What's up this time? What did you find? No! <laughs> it's real. In Japan, and now's the question. Is this actually the leftover of a crime? That the criminal accidentally dropped this? Or what else happened here? Number three, Japanese people never eat broccoli just as is. It's always definitely cooked, boiled or prepared, but never raw. That might not have surprised you as much, but guess what? Usually grapes are always peeled too. Japanese people tend to peel a lot of things, including grapes and apples. No one just takes an apple and bites into it. We heard from travelers who came from Australia and New Zealand that they sometimes eat the kiwi fruit with the skin on. That's definitely a big no in Japan. It's always, always peeled. Ketchup isn't for free at McDonald's. You actually have to pay for it. However, if you order french fries or whatever you call it in your language or chicken McNuggets, you do actually, finally, get free ketchup. Also, that ketchup is generally not Heinz tomato ketchup. Would have thought. When you walk over a manhole, you find yourself generally looking down and checking it out because there's a lot of different interesting, cute and intricate designs on some of the Japanese manholes. So randomine on cardboard box recycle day, which is once a week or twice every week, depending on where you live, you look around and you actually see that the majority of cardboard boxes right now has the Amazon logo on it. A new fashion trend in Japan that emerged in 2020 is the Jidaike Josh, and that translated actually means landmine type girl. What? The fashion style is generally described as mainstream fashion here in Japan with a twist, so not mainstream fashion in your country, and is generally blacks, whites, generally no browns or beige, but there's a lot of emphasis on looking like a dolly, very cute, many wear circle lenses, and they look so cute from the outside. But once you actually start, for example, dating them or seeing them, they don't just want a lot of attention. They kind of want to be seen. They kind of want to be looked at and they might have some stronger opinions than others. And that's why she's a landmine, meaning might look normal or just simple from the outside. But once you actually step on it, things are going to blow up. Some compare it to the Menhera style, where it's generally more pinks and sweet colors, but kind of in a bit more grown-up way and you can't spot it straight away. And there's also the Jirai Kei Danshi, the Jirai landmine type boys. Jirai Kei boys generally look super handsome and kind of are great with fashion and similar things like that, but they have some dark downsides. For example, he's super good looking, but he's a bit of a mama's boy and has a bit of a mother complex. Or he's a gentleman, but it turns out that he knows that he is. He's kind of narcissistic. Or he seems to be super fun and social, super outgoing, but on the downside, he's super jealous of his girlfriend going out and being social as well. So again, looks pretty, looks nice, but if you step on it, it's a landmine! From June, the rainy season starts in Japan. Some people even call it the monsoon. High humidity, cloudy sky, and a lot, a lot of rainy days. However, this year, the rainy season started 20 days early, and apparently that hasn't happened in a hundred years. But Japanese people are optimistic because this is the season when the hydrangeas, those flowers are in bloom in the most different colors and it's a real pleasure to just go and take pictures with them. For
For example, last year, the director and I went to a hydrangea park where we took the most amazing portraits. Be sure to check them out on our Instagram. It was a real pleasure to go and take those images. This is the burning spirit statue of Asahi beer. And it's not poop, even though it looks like it. The building next to it is supposed to actually look like beer. Tokyo is not flat. There's a lot of little hills and valleys all over Tokyo. Right now I'm standing on one. Kingdom of Tonga, the first floor is Matsuyanando. And the Kingdom of Tonga in Japan apparently has their embassy in the same building as a Matsuya that sells beef balls. The French embassy is right next to an Italian restaurant here in Japan. And the Italian embassy is actually right next to a Japanese soba restaurant and to a sushi restaurant here in Japan. The Statue of Liberty is actually one of the symbols of the Odaiba area in Tokyo. Are Odaiba still Tokyo? Apparently, it's also the symbol of a love hotel somewhere in Japan. One of the heaviest crimes on Japanese trains is molestation. We've done a whole video about that, so that one we know about. But one of the other sinful crimes is actually doing a party on the train and everyone suffers. Since there's no PDA in Japan, you get surprised when you see people actually kissing on the street. You're a little bit shocked. <gasps> One cute story became popular on the Japanese Twitter. There was a high schooler couple on the platform in Shinjuku and people thought they were just kissing, but it turns out they were kissing, but they were still keeping their masks on and everyone found that kind of adorable. Japanese people, but also ASMR lovers all around the world were kind of shocked when YouTube said they're considering putting a monetization on all of the videos. And just imagine a really relaxing ASMR video and you know, you're feeling so relaxed and you're about to drift off and then suddenly a commercial hits you in the face. No, thank you. In Japan, there is generally a summer school uniform and a winter school uniform. However, students cannot just change them when they feel like it or when they feel cold or too hot. There is a date when they're allowed to actually wear it. And only then they can go change into it, apparently. Why? Similarly, Cool Biz was invented. It's a time when the office workers in Japan can actually go to work in summer without having to wear their blazer or a tie. So, you know, heat struggle alarm and stuff like that. Because of the way Japanese grammar works, the difference between the and a is so hard for Japanese people that some just can't explain it. Sometimes the weirdest news of foreign countries come into Japan. So for example, Canada was in the news recently because there was a raccoon who got stuck in a roof. And everyone in Japan talked about it. If you have a Japanese Nintendo Switch console, you will probably have encountered this problem as well. It's the drift on the Joy-Con, meaning sometimes it will move even though you're not moving it. And even in Japan, Japanese people are pretty annoyed about it. Son Goku and Dragon Ball get stronger, Naruto gets stronger, Deku and Boku no Hero Academia get stronger, but one gets stronger than most of all and we didn't expect and that was the Prince of Tennis! At the beginning of that manga it was just pretty boys playing tennis and recently they're kind of summoning black holes and smashing their opponents off the field and where did tennis go? Hisatsubasa Ihure, which pretty much means special move, inflation, is what this manga has gotten over the last couple of years and you really don't know what's happening next. What happened to tennis? <sighs> A suspicious part-time job recently made the news. 
where someone was willing to pay a hundred fifty dollar for someone to buy pork rice bowls at the airport in Okinawa and then deliver it to Tokyo. And everyone was like, "This sounds kind of suspicious." Coke versus Pepsi is one of the big debates in the USA, but in Japan, it is bamboo shoot versus mushroom chocolate candy snacks. They're actually done by the same company too. As part of an English lesson at some Japanese schools, Japanese students are encouraged to send fan letters to celebrities. And sometimes some celebrities actually ride the students back, so that's actually a pretty good lesson. I wish we'd done that. By the way, Japanese people, including the director, struggle a little bit with the word celebrity. Is it an R? Is it an L? Yutte Celebrity. 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 Yes. When many Western foreigners come to Japan, they praise the emphasis on the ni. So, konnichiwa. But it's generally konnichiwa. The N is more important. These were a couple of news and random surprises from the streets of Tokyo coming out to you. We've done similar videos before. Be sure to check those out. They were actually quite popular, so it's worth actually checking them out. And there's people in the way. Can we still keep going? We're going. Okay, we're still going. So be sure to subscribe to us, Japanese, like and subscribe and all of that. And I'll catch you soon for another video here coming from Tokyo with Kathy Ken. Bye! Oh, ah, check out our socials in the box below too. Bye! Ah, more running! Okay! Bye! Bye! Bye!